Albania is a country in southern Europe. Part of the Balkans region, Albania became independent of the Ottoman Empire in 1912, then was taken over by Italy in 1939. Fast forwarding a bit, the end of World War II marked the beginning of the communist era in Albania. After trying both the Stalinist and Maoist model, Albania decided to try their own brand of communism, which made them isolated, and in doing so, Albania became underdeveloped. After the Soviet Union, one of their only allies, broke up, the country tried to move forwards in democratic reform, forming a parliamentary republic. However, after its break with communism, the country had to deal with many many problems of corruption within the government. From the period between 1991 and 2005, the country had an uphill battle with democracy because of corruption, which is the misuse of power for private gain. It's not always used to benefit one particular person themselves, it can also be used to benefit one group over another. In the 90s, the country was becoming more and more capitalist with the liberalization of the economy. There was more bribery in the public sector, and generally the country was not doing too well. To further exacerbate matters, the war in Yugoslavia was in full force and criminal networks were smuggling pr pretty much everything from drugs to weapons to even petrol to the Albanian population there, as well as to other parts of EU such as Italy. Corruption is a complex beast and as such, there are usually distinctions between the major types of corruption. There's grant and petty corruption. Grant corruption is mainly policymakers in the judicial system, whereas the latter refers to the public and civil servants. Unfortunately, this still isn't an easy thing to pinpoint, so there's the issue of what actually constitutes corruption. Seeing as in some places, gifts in the form of both money and objects is accepted in some places it's not. Also, the amount of money plays an issue as well. Albania has been the center of many studies on corruption since the country became democratic. Bribery is the most common form of corruption, affecting mainly medical professionals in order to get better treatment, with the majority going unreported, citing it as common practice. That therein lies the problem in getting rid of corruption, as many people see bribery as a tool to get things done in a timely fashion, which makes it difficult for people to change their ways when it comes to it, as much as they want to. Currently, Albania has a parliamentary democracy, where in which the president gets voted in by the assembly, the legislative branch, to serve a five-year term and serves as head of state, meaning he gets to control the armed forces and appoints the prime minister, who does all the executive stuff like pass laws and carry out foreign policy. The assembly is a legislative branch which is made up of 140 people, 40 of which are appointed by the parties based on proportional representation, whereas the other 100 are voted in by the public. Although this system is working somewhat better than it did in the past, the the shadows of the bad government takes its toll on the people within the government as well as the public in wanting to join the EU. Since the late 90s, Albania wanted to join the EU as well as other organizations. The only problem was their corruption. With the help of the US and other countries, they are working to battle it, but it's the only thing that's stopping them from entering the EU. Although their development index is quite high and their economy has improved much over the years and their society in general is equal, their corruption index is one of the lowest in the world. Corruption is a real problem in many countries around the world, and as we can see with Albania, it's not something that goes away overnight. Both the President and Prime Minister, Buya Ernashani and Edi Rama respectively, are both intent on creating reforms that will helpfully mitigate corruption in all branches of government. It's the only way that they could possibly become part of the EU. What do you think? What do you think needs to be done to get Albania relatively corruption free? Join the discussion, leave a comment, or subscribe if you like, and tune in next time when we tackle Algeria. Until then.